welcome to the Indiana Lacrosse Channel, where I have to do stupid circus tricks to get your attention. Welcome to the Indiana Lacrosse Channel, where I have to do stupid circus tricks to get your attention. Let's talk about the PLL. I made a video last year on my thoughts about the PLL and how I thought it not necessarily was fake, but teams were picked in a specific way to create rivalry or um, whatever, like to create this kind of WWE scenario that Paul Rabel is very fond of. And to an extent, I was right. We had the Chrome being the bad boys. We had the Archers pinning corners. And we had the Chrome do a lot worse than I thought they were gonna be. Come on, guys, let's go. You're all Duke players. Duke's one of my favorite teams, guys. Let's go. 2020 will be our year though. And now with the new expansion team, the Water Dogs, Rough Rough, now my second favorite team, because I love dogs. With the Water Dogs coming in, I wanted to talk a little bit more about that theory and my thoughts on the Water Dogs. So the Water Dogs basically is a pick of all the unprotected players from all the other teams, right? So the PLL just released all of the players that were protected and all the ones that aren't. And the Water Dogs, are going to be comprised of all the players that weren't protected. And their motto is, every game is a revenge game, because somebody who was in the Water Dogs was an unprotected player and was not protected by their team, so it's a revenge match. That creates a lot of drama and hype for each game. We saw a little bit of what that drama was when the Atlas played the Whip Snakes at Johns Hopkins Field. And essentially, um, that's the drama that they want to make. They want to make drama between all these teams to make the games more exciting, make you want to watch. <clears throat> and so the idea of the Water Dogs is great because you can create drama between every team now. I mean, even if you looked at the very first game between Grenlian and, uh, and Baptiste, they taught, they made this kind of, the, the announcers made this big deal of like Baptiste being taught by Grenlian and it's like Master versus Apprentice, Darth Vader and Luke kind of a thing. Hashtag Rise of Skywalker spoilers. But it's one of those things that's like, they're trying to get drama and that's totally fine. But you don't see drama in any other sports. You don't see a lot of drama between, I mean, I guess you do see any drama following Tom Brady. I mean, so I guess there is drama all the time and everyone loves to hate on Tom Brady. But um, <clears throat> I love the drama between the teams, don't get me wrong. I love the PLL and I love watching the PLL. And to be completely honest, today, um, the MLL decided to go from franchise to all the teams being owned by one program. So, I mean, the, the MLL is going to die off here pretty soon. On top of that, Rob Pinnell's contract should be up, like, season 2019. So, uh, be on the lookout for him to come over to the PLL. I'd be very shocked if he stays with the MLL. But as we see the MLL fold or start to fall apart, we're going to see more and more of those players like Steel Stanwick and uh, Lyle Thompson. Honestly, I looked at all the rosters today and there's like five players I know, like in total, in the MLL. Uh, but we'll see a lot of those players now move over to the PLL and definitely there will be more expansion. I think they're gonna add like every year, I think they're gonna add another team. So that being said, guys, the PLL is announcing all of their cities. And one of my goals, like I said, it's been a year, it's been almost a year since I've sat down in this chair in the same almost the exact same spot almost to talk to you about what, my, what were my goals and it was around that time when the PLL had announced their cities that Indianapolis was not addressed but uh, uh, I want that to change guys my mission is to bring all of the different schools all the different high schools all the different clubs together so that we can be one voice and tell the PLL tell the ISHAA to tell the world Indiana lacrosse, we have great athletes, so why can't those great athletes be lacrosse players? I love this sport and I want to see Indiana be an impact in that sport. And it all starts with, hey, let's get the PLL to come to Indiana. Let's get some games here. Let's get some camps here. Let's do something with the PLL. So guys, comment down below. Let me know if you want the PLL to come to Indiana and what PLL players you would want to come. Guys, I know the beginning of this year has been rough. Our numbers have definitely been declining and I need your help. Like I said, this is my goal and I need to know what content you guys want to see. So 
if you're watching this video, please tell me what, what kind of video you want. The types of videos that we're gonna be making, we're gonna start hitting in the production. We're gonna start going. It's been really bad outside, so it's hard for us to do training videos or anything outside. But we wanna start covering this. If you have a highlight and you want us to put some of your highlights on our channel, make sure you send them to us at Indiana Lacrosse Channel at gmail.com. The link is down below. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure that you subscribe, share the video with your friends, and help us grow the lacrosse community together. I want to be the voice that brings us all together so that we can make some massive changes and we can really showcase this community. All right, guys. My name is AJ. My goal, well, you already know my goal. I'll see you next time. Peace.